Hey there, Leo here. And if you're watching this video, you probably are a small business owner and are looking to know how chamber participation can help uh, your small business if you're located somewhere in the Bay Area, right? Um, this probably is going to resonate more with you, especially if you're in the Solano, Sacramento area, because the article I'm going to be covering here, um, it's related to a uh, person that participate, it participates in the Rossville Area Chamber of Commerce. Um, so let me go ahead and read you a little bit about the article and, 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 and give some insight in my thoughts and some and perhaps share some other information that <clears throat> with my experiences as well. OK, so let's go ahead and get started. So it says on the article, much of my business come from referrals, whatever, whoever the author is. It says Lori Prosho. Um, let's see. Lori Prosho, if there's any more information. Lori Prosho is the president of Prosho Communications a Rossville public relationship marketing and graphic design firm. And then he has uh, her email address and the website if you want to reach out to uh, that person. But it, this this is what she wrote, right? Much of my business comes from referrals. With so much organic exposure, you may ask why it's important to invest in outside marketing efforts for my business, such as participating in my local chamber. And then she provides the answer. And saying the answer to that is easy, right? This person right here, the author, Lori, gains credibility for my business through participating, participating, participation in my local chamber, the Roseville Area Chamber of Commerce, which provide real marketing value. And and that's so true. Um, if you are a business owner and you've been in the market for some time and you had some type of success, think about um, what uh, is it that got you the success, right? In some way, shape, or form, more likely has been some type of participation, right? Participation in, in um, <clears throat> to speak in areas where you've been, right? Or participation to continue to show up in, in trade shows um, of the industry that you are, or just serving in the local community, right? For a specific organization that brings you exposure as well, but at the same time helps you I create a relationship. And that's something that I see as well. I'm new as well, business owner, but I've been right in the community. So um, things that I appreciate doing, like, you know, um, being out there in the community, uh, volunteering for organizations, nonprofit organizations in the community uh, are something definitely that have helped me establish good relationships um, that at the same time helps me create credibility, right? Because obviously, it's not just the relationship, but what else um, you do out there that is related to your profession uh, that people are seeing that you do, right? Obviously, the relationship is number one, but also you got to be good at what you do, right? So one way to be able to show what you do is establishing that credibility, in my opinion, and obviously the author over here. So she goes on saying, I'm also active in my chamber to help strengthen strengthen the local business community, okay? Uh, build sustained relationship with local leaders and ensure that my voice is heard. So key important information here, strengthen the local business community, okay? Either by you participating in in, in, um, in different areas that are related to uh, local businesses, either connecting uh, business owners to services, right? Either connecting business owners to perhaps workshops that may help them become uh, stronger in the business. So obviously what that leads to is to uh, you, number one, being the person that helps, right? But at the same time, uh, um, it helps the economy of that business owner. And obviously it, in return goes back to the community that obviously the community gets stronger and there's more money around you know, everywhere, right? Um, builds the sustained relationships because again, they see you as the person that you established to help. Um, and I'll swell it with the local leaders, right? So your, your local politicians, that's where you can do, I think that's where we can do most of their impact, right? With their local politicians or local community, uh, because, um, we live in the same area. So <laughs> more likely you see them often, ev uh, in different, uh, events around, on the, around your town. And because of that as well, right, your voice, um, it's heard because you encounter those leaders in different environments that are not necessarily only uh, in the environment, perhaps uh, meet them at the office, but other environments like perhaps volunteering in different events or um, 
or, or both of you or or you seeing them in uh, events around your local chamber or other organizations or events the other organizations put together. Let's see. So every business sees the benefit uh, of a strong local economy. That's true. And a healthy chamber with engaged member is an important part of that. Uh, so real quick, um, again, my name is Leo, and I do I do participate in local chambers. Uh, most mainly, I'm uh, participate. I participate in the Solano Hispanic Chamber, right? Being that uh, uh, I was born in Nicaragua, I feel that I want to give back to that community. Um, you know, not that I I made it, but I. I but at the same time, I've been able to um, progress a lot, right, within my career that it's good to always look back or hand a hill. Uh, um, um, what's the saying I'm trying to, to say? Um, hand a hand. Is that how you say it? Um, right? To be able to help other people that are probably in, in the same process that I am, but a few steps behind, right? Um that's how we, I think it's you can achieve a lot more fulfilling in life by, you know, lifting others with you. Um, so I'm not saying I'm I'm a you know I have I have a lot going on. I'm perfect, but at the same time, I'm saying that I have to acknowledge where I came from, right? How far I came, and and be able to lift others to help right? others that want to do more, right? Especially more in the life, more in the community. Um, so that's part of what I do with the, I, I, I do participate a lot in the Solano Hispanic Chamber of Commerce and I volunteer in, you know, their local chambers as well. So let's see, uh, every business sees the benefits of a strong local economy and a healthy chamber with engaged members is an important part of that. I help drive that cause, not just by being a chamber member. This is a key over here, not just by being a member, okay? Don't expect the chamber to give you all the referrals and, and generate all the leads just by you uh, paying your uh, annual fee and sitting behind waiting for people to come to you. No, um, it, it requires work, okay? It requires to be, you being out there. And let's see what the author says over here, but also by being active in it, okay? Being active in it, that's how you can actually create relationships by you being volunteering, not just uh, putting your name and never talking to your local chamber. And I mean, because you got to think about it, right? You, you you could say, yes, I pay my money. Um, I, I should get something in return. And um, yes, I agree with you. But imagine how much more you can get a return by you being constantly active and and building the relationship with people that actually run in the chamber okay <clears throat> so but also being by being active in it and helping other chamber members see the value by providing creative and consistent marketing for the chamber a chamber helps facilitate relationships and encourage encourages leaders to work together to make their mark <laughs> Uh, that's something that I noticed that I've been able to develop a lot, and people have mentioned this to me a lot too. Um, how they <clears throat> they like uh, they 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 approach me to learn more about the chamber because they they uh, <clears throat> have been able to see me as a person that could help them create connections, facilitate relationship with others. Um, um, I think uh, I've been able to develop a good sense of uh, con uh, of connection, connecting people, being able to connect people, and yeah, I definitely enjoying to be able to develop more that more and more as a further my my um, path here in life. <clears throat> um, a chamber also recognizes future leaders, yes, um, and helps them cultivate cultivate them. Um, I participated in Leadership Roseville, a leadership program hosted by Roseville Area Chamber of Commerce, not long before I was asked to become a member of the Chamber Board. So this is real quick what I want to mention in this about my own experience is that the Chamber helps you um, participate in other programs. It exposes you to other programs where you can, uh, if you feel that you can help more, um, 
uh, you'll be able to do to to do a big impact, right? For example, it says over here, our chamber also recognizes future leaders. So, for example, the Solano Hispanic Chamber has a uh, scholarship <coughs> uh, program, right? We we give away scholarships once a year to local students here in the Solano County area. Either they they were they live here or they go to school here in the Solano County area. They're Hispanic descendant, and so. Um, it, it, it is really inspiring when it comes time to um, get to interview the candidates that uh, are going for these scholarships, okay? Um, you can see this, um, uh, the candidates that actually makes it to the point to, you know, where we interview them. Um, it's very inspiring to listen to their stories, how far they ma they made it and how 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 much they they push and they want to achieve right um um so uh that's one of the things that you could see yourself as basically recognizing future leaders and helping cultivate them okay because um something like a scholarship right could help you uh get get a relationship with that person and see them grow you know follow them along their path and I say this because I continue to see over and over some of our um, scholarship awardees or is that how you say it? people that receive awards right from our scholarships. I those that are very uh, involved in the community. I see them in different places. Uh, and so it, it definitely um, um, makes me happy, inspire me to see them um, do more things. Right. Um, um, not just get the money, right? So all of these things have helped me increase the profile of my business and my brand and have allowed me to further extend my business and personal relationship. My chamber involvement also increases my influence and celebrity and credibility in my community, which helps encourage prospective clients to trust my, my brand and see the value of the service I provide. So, for example, if you have a specialty and you are able to volunteer in your local chamber with that, that specialty, either in different ways, right? So, either you provide uh, a service um, to the chamber itself or to members of the chambers um, for maybe for, for a special pricing or, or perhaps you provide uh, education, business education that are related to your specialty field, right? So, obviously... Uh, those situations you are seen as a what they say over here, right? It, it increases your influence. You are seen as the influential person in your area uh, because obviously, you know, you teaching about a workshop or business, doing business education uh, classes about the specific topic that you are an expert on. Um, you know, the chamber helps you uh, put the word out there that you have the, that going on that you're going to be presenting, uh, and then you. In return, right, you provide the value, valuable training, and in return, you get that exposure that it, it helps um, influence that, that business community and increase your credibility. Uh, but a chamber membership can be passive experience if you wanted to work for your business. So let's see what they say about passive experience. When you embark on a new business in initiative, you don't just set it and forget it. Uh, very true, right? Anything that you set and forget, you're not going to get a lot back. And expect to achieve a ROI, return on investment. The same rules should be applied to your chamber membership. You cannot just pay your dues, join for a year, not participate, and then question the benefit of your membership. So before you start questioning about uh, I really got nothing about the chamber. Really, think, really go back and think like, okay, um, what are some of the things that I, you know, what I learned from this? What are some of the things that uh, I, at the same time, could have done different, right? Um, you know, was there any opportunity for me to um, help my local business community, help the chamber to even um, uh, perhaps help them set up some performance um, or help them put better processes in place in the return, right? I'm, I'm obviously, uh, I might get a bigger ROI. So think about those type of things. Uh, like most, my local chamber routinely 
hosts educational programs and networking events. Um, that's usually typically what chambers do, right? A lot. Um, they host educational business programs or even sometimes for the community and host business networking events uh, that help with employees retention, okay, in a competitive market. Uh, these advantages are often overlooked by busy executives, but they are resources that can set them apart from their competition. I send several of my staff to these programs and events throughout the year, uh, and it's, it's helped build their skills and relationships too. So this person over here, right, it's not just the, the she as the owner being the one that is out there at every event, right, but at the same time, she sees this as a opportunity to develop their uh, her own employees, right? Uh, and continue to bring exposure to her business. Um, so you don't have to do it all. Maybe in the beginning when you don't have a staff um, uh, and you don't have that many customers, you do may have some additional time um, that you could invest into, you know, being out there, getting exposed, getting to yourself to expose, getting to see what the needs of your community is or your local business community if you serve businesses. And... Um, and then eventually, right, if you get staff, pay attention to what this person was saying, right, that um, she goes out and, and sends several of, of their staff to these programs and events throughout the year uh, to help them build their skills and relationship, okay? Um, chambers also help members have a voice in policies that affect their business by giving them opportunities to get to know local leaders and meet with politi political influencers. Um, this is so true. There's um, there's so many times that I've been to a local chamber event or even our own uh, Solano uh, Hispanic Chamber of Commerce and uh, local leaders that um, the best local leaders are the ones that you're going to see out there, right? Exposing themselves, the ones that understand that they have to build the relationships. And, and so you see them often in this event and it helps you to right um uh give you the opportunity to get to know these local leaders at 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 a different level right at the level where um some of these um events are a little bit more intimate right so you get to the the chance to stack a little bit more with that uh, uh local leader or, or politician political person influencer right um so that's why i say over here that also help members have a voice in politi policies that affect their business. <clears throat> the CEO of my local chamber, Wendy Garrick, regularly meets with local city council. Okay, so commissions and other influential members of the community, which help the chamber uh, provide a voice and better access for members. So, if you perhaps another person as well that have um, that are in those events, right? But at the same time, can you? build relationship with some other person that are opting in this events, right? And and there let them be your voice. Okay. So it all depends how you do it, right? If you again if you if you are don't have the time to be the ones um uh, attending all these events, can you build relationship with somebody that can be your advocate, that can help you advocate for you, right? Uh, a lot of the times all these um um People that are on the board, several on the board, right? Like the president, vice president, etc. of the local chambers, um, those can help you out as well if you build a relationship for those people. <clears throat> so, like it says over here, right? The CEO of my local chamber regularly meets with local city councils, commissions, and other influential members of the community, which helps the chamber provide a voice and better access for members. Garrick has helped me and many other business owners like me affect real change in the business community by being an advocate for us and helping set the tone for a positive business climate. Joining a chamber is an important step for your business, but it's only the first step. Okay, To fully realize the, business, the benefits, it is important to identify and take advantage of every everything your chamber offers and become personally involved this let your chamber know what's important to you and helps you shape where you live and work. As you think about your business plans for 2019, consider joining your local chamber as part of your marketing and business strategy goals. 
And I already talked to you a little bit about in the beginning about the author of this article, right? Lori M. Prosher, Prosher uh, who is the president of Prosher Communications, a Roseville public relationship marketing and graphic design firm. Um, and then she provides her email and um, uh, website address. So I hope this information was helpful to you. Uh, if you want to know more about me, uh, you can definitely find me on Facebook. You can just search for Leo Callejas or you can go to my website digital track which is a local digital advertising agency um which and then we will, in which we help our small local businesses here in solano county um to increase their online exposure so that more customers are able to find them and if you have any concerns about um how your customers how your business looks online right either perhaps you have a lot of customers complaining that they see a lot of missing um a lot of uh, wrong information about your business online causes them to, um, you know, uh, call their own number or get to their own address or uh, send their own email or or mail their to their own address, right? If you having those type of issues or if you have any complaints from customers saying they have a hard time to find you online or that they cannot find you at all, uh, you can come to my website. I offer a free analysis report. All you have to do is complete the form, get my free report that will send me an email. Um, and then that information will help me to put together that report, but at the same time provide you some recommendations on what can be done to fix some of those issues that you're experiencing. All right, so that hopefully this information helped you. Hopefully this video helped you. If you have any questions, my website, my contact information is here on my website and my social media links as well. All right, have a good one. Bye.